Hey, foodie friends, and welcome to Chef's Recipe Spotlight with Jessica and where we do what we do best, and that's talk about food. We are so excited to share the, today's tasty treat. It's a flavorful feature, and it is my signature cranberry turkey sliders. So I'm sure this time of year, you're seeing all sorts of things all over the internet about what to do with that leftover turkey from either Thanksgiving or Christmas. And this is my solution. It's not just make a turkey sandwich. It's like a mix between the ham and cheese sliders that everybody likes basted in butter with poppy seeds and Dijon mustard, but using turkey the sweet rolls, the cheese, and yes, cranberry sauce, a little bit of tart in there. They really just channel all that is fall, but you don't need leftover turkey per se. You could totally just go to the deli counter and order up some turkey. So what do you need to grab? You need Hawaiian slider rolls, you know, like the King's Hawaiian sweet honey rolls or any other kind. You can use a savory or a sourdough if you prefer that. Either deli turkey or leftover turkey. Swiss or provolone cheese, I like to use something white and melty so that in the oven it gets nice and gooey unsalted butter so you can control that salt dijon mustard to give it a little bit of zippy flavor poppy seeds they've got a bit of a crunch but also a little visual interest garlic powder to amp up that flavor worcestershire sauce really adds up the punchiness and salt because we have to still have some salt right there's also a million ways to make these your own you could add some bacon you could do sun-dried tomatoes spinach mushrooms arugula artichokes and Take out the poppy seeds using everything, bagel seasoning or sesame seeds. You could use an herbed butter mix or some sort of compound butter if you want to instead of my butter topping. But basically what you do, keep your rolls all together in like a slab and use a long serrated knife and cut them in half so you have a slab of tops and a slab of bottoms. Take the bottom roll and put it into a baking dish, a nine by 13 baking dish. I usually spray the bottom with cooking spray just to make sure that nothing sticks after it starts baking. Place half of the cheese on the bottom of the roll then drape the turkey over that, top this with cranberry sauce. And I like to use a whole berry cranberry sauce or cranberry relish. Mine is usually homemade. And then the rest of the cheese. The cheese is really the glue that are going to help hold these sandwiches together after it starts to melt. Put the top layer of rolls on and then prepare your sauce. This is really where things get, oh, so finger looking good. Okay, so melt butter, mustard, the Dijon mustard, poppy seeds and garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce and salt in a bowl. Whisk it together really, really good. And then you could either spoon or pour it on or use a pastry brush, but get butter over the top half of those sliders and into all the nooks and crannies. Cover it really tight with aluminum foil so the tops don't burn and the butter just bakes into the bread. Okay. And bake it. They'll get hot. They'll get gooey. Doesn't take long. Towards the end of baking, you'll want to take off the aluminum foil so the tops can get just the slightest bit brown. This all takes about 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Then you can remove them. You can cut them into individual sliders using that same serrated knife. Go ahead and serve them and tell me how you liked it. Guys, I want your thoughts, comments, tips, tricks, anything you use to customize it in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe so you get all of our stuff, our new recipes, our YouTube videos, our podcast, all, all the things. Okay. From my kitchen to yours, I really hope you enjoy this recipe and have a lovely day.